The best NBA players by height for the 2021 to 2022 season are listed below. Height listings are usually questionable, but these are the official NBA.com dimensions. So let's take a look at who is the NBA's best players by height in 2022. Up first, we have Isaiah Thomas at 5'9". Isaiah Thomas has appeared in games with the Los Angeles Lakers and the Dallas Mavericks this season as a result of a 10-day hardship contract. Up next, we have Facundo Campazzo at 5'10". Campazzo has been thrown into a larger than expected role for the Nuggets this season due to a slew of guard injuries, including that of his teammate Marcus Howard, who is the league's second best 5'10 player. At 5'11", we have Kiefer Sykes. Due to protocol-related absences, the 28-year-old rookie balled up when given the opportunity, enabling him to edge DJ Augustine to his ranking. To cap off an inspiring story, the Pacers extended his contract for the remainder of the season. At six foot, we have Chris Paul. Paul needs no introduction, but it's worth noting that he now leads all the players his height in points, assists, and steals this season. In his 17th season, the future ballot Hall of Famer will almost certainly garner down ballot MVP votes. At six foot one, we have Trey Young. Donovan Mitchell, Fred Van Vliet, and Darius Garland all stand at 6'1", so we're starting to face some stiff competition. Trey, on the other hand, outperforms his rivals in terms of points and assets. As the team's premier offensive option, he's also had the most success, leading the Hawks to an Eastern Conference Finals just last season. At 6'2", we have Steph Curry. Curry rises out among his peers even in a down year. Early MVP frontrunner had cooled off a little, but he doesn't have much competition in a fairly weak group. At 6'3", we have John Moran. Jaws Leap has established him as the undisputed ruler of his battle line. Even though he's only 22 years old, his finest days are still ahead of him as he leads the Grizzlies to a surprise top four berth in the West. At 6'4", we have Bradley Beal. Being able to pass better than an ascending Anthony Edwards gives Beal the edge in this game. At 6'5", we have James Harden. Reasonable people can likely argue on this one, with Zach Levine and Devin Booker completing an exceedingly close trifecta. Harden wins because of his massive lead in rebounding and assists. At 6'6", six six, we have DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan had a season to remember, displaying a well-rounded game and improved defensive effort in addition to his typical clutch shooting and mid-range creativity. At 6'7", we have Luka Doncic. Even in a bad year, Luka reigns supreme. While Jimmy Butler makes a compelling two-way argument, Luka's offensive prowess puts him ahead. At 6'8", we have Paul George. PG-13 has had an outstanding year this year, and he's going to keep going and keep pushing forward. At 6'9", we have LeBron James. LeBron's latest surge at center for the Lakers has increased his scoring levels not seen since his initial stay in Cleveland. At 6'10", we have Kevin Durant. No other player in league history has made scoring appear as effortless as the Slim Reaper. At 6'11", we have Nikola Jokic. The rivalry between Jokic and Antetokounmpo is fierce. As a passer at any position, Jokic is historically excellent, and he can make shots from wherever on the court. This season, he has developed into a plus defender for the first time in his career. At seven foot, we have Joel Embiid. This opportunity for the big man from Cameroon to carry the 76ers on his huge shoulders excites him. If he remains healthy throughout the season, he will be a finalist for the MVP award. At seven foot one, we have Rudy Gobert. Stifle Tower is aiming for his fourth Defensive Player of the Year award in as many seasons this year. At 7'2", we have Moses Brown. This is more by accident than anything else, although Brown had some success last season as a result of his efforts. At 7'3", we have Kristaps Porzingis. Two of the league's only players over 7'3", inches are colleagues on the Dallas Mavericks, with the other one being Moban Marjanovic. And finally, at 7'6", we have Taco Fall. Let's hope that Taco, a fan favorite, can reestablish himself in the league. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.